I am grateful for American Airlines to give us this opportunity to highlight my great aunt's accomplishments in the field of aviation. I am excited to honor and celebrate the legacy of Queen Bessie Coleman. Her bravery, her determination not to give up or to give out and to find a way to pursue and to realize her dream of becoming a pilot. After repeatedly being denied access and admission to schools, aviation schools here in America, she went to Paris, she went to Europe, and in 1921 became the very first black aviator. Where there is a will, there is a way. Bessie Coleman was such an advocate, and today we all are Bessie Coleman. Her dream has been fulfilled from the bottom up. African American women are doing it in the field of aviation and aerospace. So today I'm beyond thrilled to be a part of the crew where we're inspiring young girls, young girls of color to see the various roles that these women play in every aspect to make this flight possible. I've been a flight attendant for 55 years. I am blown away, yes. This is the first time I've been on an all black women's crew and it makes me feel so good. We need to see ourselves in every aspect of our business. Bessie Coleman, as you've heard, was a trailblazer for our industry. And we're a stronger airline today because of her accomplishments. She made way for some of our most accomplished aviation professionals. That's why this honorary flight today is so important. From the flight crew, to the agents, to the ground crew, to the mechanics, all team members operating this flight are black females. When you paint American on the side of your aircraft, you have to include all Americans in all work groups. Wonderful occasion yesterday, American Airlines sponsored the first African American women crew to fly from Dallas to here. We've been working on the 100th anniversary for Bessie Coleman, and we wanted it to end here with you as we continue further the 101st. American Airlines being here today is showing our students that there are people in the industry who are really excited about them being in the aerospace pathway here at our school. When I graduate, I'd like to be an airline pilot, uh, go to flight school and build my time in there. I knew she was the first uh, African-American woman to get her pilot's license. She was the first to do it, so she inspired the next generation to follow her footsteps and know that they can also be what they want to be.